gems, welcome or welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I'm going to be showing you everything that I made in the month of January, January 2023 and I'm super excited to show you all of the things that I got up to because I actually made a lot more things than I thought I would have and I'm just super happy with everything that I made as well. But before I get into showing you everything I just want to say thank you, thank you so so much for 1000 followers here on YouTube. Honestly it's kind of like I don't really know how that happened but thank you so much for being here and supporting me it really means a lot. To celebrate I would like to do a Q&A video, a 1k Q&A if you will and so if you have any questions for me they don't have to be crochet related they can be about literally anything. Leave them down in the comment section below or you can go to the community post I made the other week and leave them there and I'll make a whole video answering all of your questions. What do you want to know? Who am I? Huh? Like I don't know. Might not be able to answer that one. But without further ado, let's just get into the video. So thanks to my new handy dandy Google Sheets, I am able to tell you everything that I made in chronological order as well, which is really awesome. So we're gonna start off with one of the very first pattern tests that I finished this year, which is my Fishy Alex jumper by Wool and Buggers. Here she is. <laughs> This is like one of my most well made garments I've ever made and I don't know why that is but it's like it's just it just feels so good. <laughs> I used an Aran weight yarn for the body of this jumper and then for the actual fish I doubled up some DK yarn um, which I didn't necessarily need to do but it feels really solid like it feels good you know what I mean like it's a nice good jumper to wear and this was a super super easy pattern to make Wool and Buggers did amazing with the pattern and if you haven't got it you should go get it now I'm gonna say the pun you should go make your purchase right now this is just an awesome sweater the camera isn't quite picking up the colors correctly this is more of like a neon radioactive kind of fish it was just such a lovely pattern to make i've worn it multiple times i went to visit scott's family in the north the other day and i wore it during like just really cold like wet drizzly weather and it kept me nice and warm it's just such a great pattern. That jumper only took me 10 days to make. I'd say it took me about 50 hours to make altogether, but 10 days to whip up a jumper, like that's crazy. Maybe it's because I used Aran weight yarn as well, which is a little bit thicker, but it's just, it's a lovely pattern. You should go get it right now. <laughs> then I started getting into my Centro machine and I made a couple scarves on there. I don't have one of them with me in my hands right now because it's in my car, but I made this really beautiful rainbow scarf and it was kind of the very first thing that I ever made with my knitting machine. And it's quite short I learnt my lesson and for the next couple scarves I actually used two skeins of yarn instead of one so I'm going to show you them now. This is one of the scarves. I am going to be undoing this one because I kind of messed up a little bit. I don't know how but my ends are like not facing the same direction so it twists in the middle but this is a really lovely colour scheme. This is, uh, what yarn is this? This is Wendy Wiggles yarn. It's a DK acrylic. It's really, really soft and the colour is just so nice. But I will be undoing this one and I think I want to try and make a panel with this instead and practice panel work using this. Either to make like just a really long scarf again or to try and make a jumper. But that's the first scarf that I made. The second scarf came out perfectly. It's this. This uses the Hayfield Spirit yarn, which is another really gorgeous yarn. And this is two skeins so it's much much longer let me put it on Ooh. yeah it's a much longer scarf it might be a little bit too long but this is actually going to be a birthday present for one of my aunties i need to finish it off a little bit because i want to put some flower like appliques on here but this is really nice and again this took me like an evening to make so it really takes no time at all if you're looking to make some quick scarves i would recommend the center knitting machine i know it's like kind of an investment because they're not that cheap if you're looking to get into knitting this has really inspired me to make some more three scarves using my machine so far i haven't made any more because i unfortunately had to go back into hospital and have surgery so i haven't been able to sit at my desk and do that because it's it's quite exhausting using a knitting machine to be honest but I would like to get back into that once I am fully a-okay. <laughs> Next up is actually another scarf which I don't have on me either because I gifted it to my nan. It's the first hand knit 
project I ever made. <laughs> it's quite cute, you know, ever since I got into crochet, my nan has wanted me to learn to knit, but I knitted her a little scarf using, again, the Hayfield Spirit in this lovely blue colorway. I restarted this scarf about six times and um, just progressively used bigger and bigger needles every time I started over. And it's just a simple garter stitch, I believe it is. It's just knit stitch the whole way. And it's not perfect. It has a hole in it and the ends aren't that great. But again, it was my first hand knit piece and she really really likes it i went around to her house the other day and she was just wearing it and i was like oh my gosh that's like the best thing ever so i was super happy with how it came out even if it's not quite perfect <laughs> next up we have another pattern test for the lovely crochet fairy um eleanor who is just the stuff that they make is just so cool i love it so much but this is her pixie pebble leg warmers how cute are these? I have been wanting to make leg warmers for the longest time, but as someone who has thicker calves than the average person, or probably has the same thickness calves as the average person, because come on, it's 2023. But I never actually made them because I've always been kind of a little bit, a little bit insecure about how they may look, but I couldn't pass up on the opportunity to patent test these ones, and I'm so happy I did because they came out so cute. I mean, look at these. Ah, they're so sweet. Eleanor has a whole like pixie pebble range, which I, I just need to make a, 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 an outfit head to toe <laughs> using all the pixie pebble stuff because they're so adorable. But I kind of switched up the colors a little bit for each leg. And I think I need to redo this one because this was the first one I made and I wasn't quite confident with the pattern yet. It's a super easy pattern to follow, but you know, I didn't really know what I was doing. So my tension is a lot looser on this one. And they're actually slightly different sizes. I don't know if you can quite tell. So this one doesn't fit my leg as well as this one. So I might redo this one at some point, but um, we're getting into the warmer weather anyway. So I'm not sure how much I'll be wearing these at the moment, but they are really cute. And the pattern actually dropped the other day on the 30th. So if you haven't picked up your version already, again, go do so now. <laughs> Next up is something that I have been working on for forever. I just literally hadn't finished off the cuff for the one sleeve and that's all I had to do. So I finally finished my scrappy jumper by Made in the Moment. She has a tutorial for this over on her YouTube channel. It's basically a raglan but I used lots of different lengths of stitches and lots of different weights of yarn. I used the same hook size the whole way out so this all uses a eight millimeter hook but we've got some chunky yarn in here, we've got some doubled DK, half double crochets, double crochets, triple crochets, <laughs> single crochets. I love the texture of this and I love the color colors. I'm not a very purple person. Ignore the fact that I'm wearing purple today, but I've actually got into purple a lot more recently and this jumper was actually really cute. I like the incorporation of this fuzzy yarn. This was a really good stash buster. It's called the scrappy jumper, so you kind of, you kind of supposed to use your scrap. Also realized when I put it on that I've actually made the cuffs slightly, this one needs another row, but I don't know where I put the yarn for it. So we'll see if we ever fix that. Probably won't. But it is really cute and for the fact that it's so holy, it actually keeps you really warm. So yeah, I really like this pattern as well. Another W for Made of the Moment, not gonna lie. So next up is actually the shirt that I am wearing. This was another pattern test for a creator called Carlegen's Caller. I believe that is how you pronounce her name. I'm really sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly. I should have asked you beforehand. But this is their Cut the Scrap sweater, which was a, another really good stash buster for me. It actually is orange and purple. Started running out of this orange and so I needed a second color to finish it off. So I added in this lilac and it's so nice. I've never made like a t-shirt before. I've never crocheted a t-shirt before or anything with shorter sleeves, but this is really nice and it's so flattering as well. It's a super easy pattern to read. It's not out yet. It's not going to be out for another month or so, I don't believe. Once it is out, you will know because I will post it all over social media. I love the color combination. I've never done orange and purple before, but it came out really nice. And again, I've never really been a purple person. It's looking good, especially with my new blue hair. <laughs> like it looks really nice so yeah really really enjoyed this pattern I think I would like to make another one I have some more of this like this isn't mohair this is like a faux hair I like to call it I actually got it from a charity shop and I have like a beige version of it so I'd like to do something with that as well but a lot of people have just been using like just regular DK throughout and it still works I have a bunch of other different color combos that I would like to make this shirt in it's just so nice and so flattering so next up is a project that I kind of made on a whim because I had seen them all over Instagram and TikTok, particularly by a creator on Instagram called, I believe it's Zalua. 
um, or Xenia. Uh, so I, again, I apologize if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. Uh, so her on Instagram and then on TikTok, a creator called, I want to say Jacqueline because it's J8 Slin. <laughs> so I think it's Jacqueline, but basically it is this cat balaclava. And I have, again, never really been a balaclava person, but um, I made my Finn the human balaclava back in 2022. Did I mention that? In my 2022 video? I don't think I did. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna put pictures here of my thin balaclava that I made, which actually came out really cute and I really like it. I can't believe I forgot to mention that in my first video. <gasps> That's so rude of me. Because I have quite a round face. I've been told all my life that I have a very round face. And so I've never thought that balaclavas would really suit me, but I thought I'll make this anyway. And it actually came out really, really nice. So here she is. And you'll notice on this side, I have my little logo. I've been making like clothing tags using my cry kit that my mom got me for Christmas. I've been putting my little logo on things that I make and I love it so much. I can't wait to like put clothing tags on literally everything I own. It's so cute. But this is the hat and this is the faux beige mohair that I've been, I was talking about earlier. And then this is two other colors of DK mixed in. I use an eight millimeter hook. So it's super chunky. I think I need to block it to soften up the fibers. I look a little bit like an alien with it on. Um, my mum described it as a peg bag, which she's not wrong. Like she's not wrong. Um, and she meant no malice by it. She actually really liked it. <laughs> I actually went and watched my cousin play rugby the other day and she said, wrap up warm. And I said, <laughs> I will. I'll actually put a picture of what I looked like because not only did I have this on, I had some fingerless gloves on and I'd taken my new crochet accessories bag with me and I was crocheting whilst he was playing rugby. So this is the hat. Let me try it on right now actually. Let's see what it looks like. <laughs> like it's just so fun. Like it's just so fun and yeah. Like, I, I love this so much. It's a little bit big. I could have done with like making this bit a little bit smaller so it fits on my face a little bit more snug so that I can just like wear it holding up because otherwise I look like an anti-vaxxer in like 2020, you know what I mean? Apart from that, <laughs> it's really, really cute and I like it a lot. It was super easy to make. If you know how to make a cat hat, you can make this. It's so easy. But Jacqueline has a tutorial on her TikTok, which is what I followed to make this. Oh, it is warm in there. <laughs> and then to match that hat, I started making some fingerless gloves. I only have one finished at the moment. Why am I holding it up like my camera auto focuses? It does not. Again, this is, um, these are slightly different to the ones I've made before because they're made out of doubled up yarn, a little bit chunkier, but they're actually really nice. I should mention the reason I chose these colors as well is because I was making another project, which I'm literally about to show you in two seconds. And I thought, hmm, these colors kind of remind me of like a calico cat. What if I made a calico cat balaclava so that's where the idea came from that's why i made this bad boy <laughs> you know these kind of things are like really good for using up your scraps as well like if you've got like half a skein of yarn left over and you don't really know what to do with it make a hat like just make a hat or you can do another thing which is one of the last projects i'm going to show you so next up i am super excited to show you this one this is like one of my most favorite things as well i've ever made i made this because my partner scott has a duck shirt that i found for him in a charity shop once and he absolutely loves it he wears it all the time and so we were talking the other day and he was like oh i'd love a like duck jumper like the fishy alex one but with a duck on it and i was like say no more i know the perfect thing. And this is another made in the moment W. This is his duck jumper that I am making for him. I was gonna keep it a surprise and like wait until Valentine's Day and like make it behind his back whilst he's at work. <laughs> but I just got so excited and so into this project that I just couldn't hide it from him. But this is actually the duck graph from made in the moment. I didn't buy the whole pattern because I kind of wanted to have free reign with how I actually made the jumper so I can make sure it fit him and you know he likes the style of some other jumpers I've made so I just thought may as well just buy the graph so you can buy the graph on its own or you can buy the crochet pattern for a jumper or a knit pattern for a sweater vest and I picked this up as well because I was working on two pattern tests this one and the next one I'm going to show you and they're both made of you know just back and forth double crocheted stripes and I was getting a little bit burnt out with that it was a lot of like color changes cutting off yarn sewing and ends and I was like, I need something to break up this like 
monotony and so I picked this up because there's just something about graph work that just scratches an itch in my brain. <laughs> I absolutely love following a graph, changing the colours, <laughs> you know, it's worth spending 40 minutes having to detangle all of the yarn mess that you've made whilst like colour changing every three stitches. But yeah, this was a just a really nice break from the monotony of like back and forth double crochets and I just love colour work. I think I've realised that I am a colour work person. There's just something about putting a graph together and seeing it come out in person. Oh, it's just absolutely beautiful. Oh, and let's have a moment for the back. I don't know what colour work that is, if someone could let me know, I can't know, I don't know if it's floating or intarsia. Either way, that's how I like to colour change. So I might make a TikTok about how to colour change one day, but who has the time? <laughs> okay, last but not least, we have a, another pattern test. I'm stuck on Sleeve Island at the moment, it's quite sad. But this is another really great pattern if you are trying to use up your scraps, I sure as hell have. And this is the Fever Dream sweater by Samantha on Instagram. <gasps> Uh, you know, this has been a lot of work. This is truly a labor of love. If I turn this inside out, <laughs> you will see all of the ends that I will have to weave in. <laughs> it's again, it's another really simple pattern to follow. It's so nice. It's so nice. And I am so close to finishing the first sleeve. <laughs> yeah super nice again super easy this is like double crochets and single crochets and so once this comes out i would again recommend getting that if you're looking to make a really nice colorful jumper the whole point of this jumper is to kind of like use lots of colors to use up your stash and i think that is just really perfect we need more patterns like that that kind of encourage you using your stash and like scraps and bits and bobs i just need to knuckle down and like just get on with it quite frankly me and scott have been watching the x-men series so i've been getting through it whilst watching those films you know what top tip if you want to crochet faster just watch something that like puts you on edge i've been watching happy valley recently i've never watched it before so i'm watching it from the beginning that show is really intense so i've been like you know like like crocheting to the rhythm of my breath which is very fast so <laughs> would recommend putting on like maybe like a thriller or something like that i don't know but anyway <laughs> would recommend this if you're looking for like a scrap buster another pattern that i would you know recommend if you're trying to use up your stash is um may crochet's the ultimate stash buster sweater which um released the other day i haven't bought it but i think i might in the future because it's a really cool pattern i don't know what kind of stitches are involved but it produces this really beautiful texture and be really beautiful like yeah just it just looks really nice so if you're looking to bust your stash would recommend doing that and i believe that is everything that i have actually made this month but i would like to quickly mention some of the things that i will be making next month because i am actually part of two more pattern testing teams the first one is the wisteria cardi by crochet treat on instagram who you may have seen in my last video i mentioned because i wanted to make their wisteria vest so i'm really excited to be part of this team it's such a cute pattern so i'm really excited to sink my teeth into it um so thank you so much for letting me be a part of the team and then the next one is the ladybug vest by by crochet pizza on Instagram and again as soon as I saw this one I was like yes 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 i need to be a part of this team i'm super excited to get started on it i need to i do need to get some yarn for it um because i want to do like a green background with some like different colored ladybugs so i do actually need to get some yarn for it but i'm waiting until the 31st because if i get to the 31st then i will not have spent any money on yarn this month can you believe it i can take off my bingo card <laughs> the only yarn i've bought this month is either with a voucher or to finish something that i'd already started so i'm not counting that because i'm not buying something like for like a random project but how how crazy is that i've not spent any money on yarn this month one upside to having surgery is that you don't spend money apparently but yeah super excited to be a part of those two testing teams and yeah to finish off the stuff that i have started this month but that is everything that i have for you today gems thank you so so much for watching i really do appreciate you sticking around whilst i ramble on about crochet remember if you have any questions for me that you would like me to answer in my video please do leave them down in the comment section below it's going to be my second video for february so I'll probably you probably have like a week or so maybe two weeks to put in your questions and I will try and get through as many as I can if you like the video then please do consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel it'd be amazing to have you here and you can follow me on all of my socials I'm jazzy0451 everywhere and without further ado have a wonderful rest of your day night evening wherever you are and I will see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>